you know what students from the past few weeks students are asking me this one question ma'am what are the chapters that we can skip ma'am what are the high priority chapters please tell us that please make a list of that but before that i want to show you a data because otherwise you will end up skipping the wrong chapters so let's understand in 2025 according to the data what are the high priority chapters what are the low priority chapters but if you see this data from 22 to 29 shift 1 shift 2 all the questions along with the chapter name is given to you but what you will see here that in this case in some of the like goc you will see that in two shifts they have asked you four question in two shifts they have asked you three question and in one shift they have not asked even a single question and in coordination chemistry you will see in four shifts here they have asked three question which is a good number but in one shift they have not asked even a single question from coordination chemistry and similarly from hydrocarbons what you will see that in three shifts they have not asked any question but in one shift they have asked four question in one shift they have asked three question and similarly you will see the pattern throughout all these chapters right but in some it is staying consistent like in biomolecules one or two question like if you see in aldehyde ketones also sometimes they don't ask you any question and sometimes one or two questions are asked in haloalkenes halorene sometimes three questions are asked and sometimes in four shifts they have not asked any question in alcohol phenols in six shift they have not asked any question in other four shifts they have asked one or two questions from here so one thing you can get clear in your head that if i give you a list of chapters that you can skip that means i am playing with your life which i don't want to do right so in chemistry from 2025 pattern we can see that if if some student has done let's say i have skipped which chapter hydrocarbons because in three shifts it has not been asked but that student who was in this shift or this shift had faced a lot of trouble why because according to him also this was not important they because of their luck they are happy but these two shift students are unhappy right so don't skip a chapter and leave it on your luck so if you ask me ma'am can i shift any chapter uh, can i skip any chapter i would say no but ma'am can i skip topics definitely yes so there is a pattern which is followed in je as well that i'll tell you that what are the chapters that you that you should do like fully every single topic what are the chapters where you can do just one or two topics and what are those topics and what are the chapters where you should do like most of the topics but one or two topics you can skip from there so let's understand that so students if you see this here from this data the high priority low priority chapters are written over here like goc coordination chemistry are high priority chapters i would advise you do everything from there right don't even skip a single topic from there in thermodynamics also i'll tell you first law of thermodynamics work related formula especially for isothermal uh, reversible irreversible adiabatic thermochemistry gibbs helmholtz equation delta h delta u relation and heat capacity it counts all the topics but there are some small small topics that i have skipped that you don't need to do right then in dnf block ncrt is your bible go through ncrt if you actually want to be risk free in dnf block if you want to go through dnf block not through ncrt then watch my lectures or do the exceptional trends do kmno4 k2cr2o7 do color color from these compounds right then mole concept stoichiometry based question limiting reagent empirical formula questions right from hydrocarbons all the important naming reactions the important reagents that you have in hydrocarbons you must go through that right then distinguish test as well from electrochemistry nernst equation you must do then electrolytic conductance product of electrolysis faraday's law very very important for you right i would advise don't skip anything from electrochemistry any portion they can ask you right then from solution 
colligative property is the most important topic from here but you must do raoult's law and henry's law as well but it's a very small chapter try to do everything from here even from theory based question examples are also assertion reasoning based question can be asked from here then from chemical bonding now don't skip anything from chemical bonding but ma'am ma'am it's low this coordination compound is here ma'am chemical bonding is here in 2026 they can interchange as well because they both are similar only maybe in 2025 they have given more priority to coordination in 2026 they will maybe they will give more priority to chemical bonding but they both are quite similar chapters if you have understood this then you will easily be able to understand that right that is the reason don't skip anything from chemical bonding and coordination chemistry then periodicity in elements it forms a base of inorganic chemistry you must have an idea of the elements that are filled the isoelectronic species oxides which is acidic basic neutral all these things right then if you see by molecules do everything from here because you are je aspirants right for je aspirants by molecules is all about you know uh, most of the things are like bio related structures so you must do this right then structure of atom important topics are bohr model and quantum numbers but you should also have an idea about de broglie's wavelength heisenberg principle right all all these things like radial nodes uh, and how to calculate that graphs right now as i am i have started with bohr and i have ended with graphs because graph is under very less they have asked not very high amount of question from there but if they ask you a question from graph you should not be surprised because it is important for you right then if i ask you these two these three chapters that is amines aldehyde ketones and haloalkanes halorenes right the simple funda about organic chemistries from amines all of this you should not skip any naming reaction any distinguished test but from amines basicity is also asked right then uh, from aldehyde ketones there are uh, uh very very important uh, uh, questions like aldol condensation canizaro right very very important uh, topics are there that you must do right then from haloalkane halorenes sn1 sn2 is very important for you right ionic equilibrium if you see here ph related questions from buffer solubility product and salt of hydrolysis that is important for you right that they usually ask now here are low priority chapters but in low priority chapters also i would not advise you to skip the chapter entirely i'll give you some specific topics that you need to do from the low priority chapters as well so these are the low priority chapters that you have high priority already i have given you in detail what are the topics to do but i would advise you do it fully right if you want to score like 90 95 marks good number of marks you want to score then do high priority chapters in detail right along with the previous year questions don't skip anything from here right but still i have given you a list but now from the low priority chapter previous year questions you must do but ma'am what are the other things what are the topics from low priority chapters that we must do now if you ask me from alcohol phenol ether and carboxylic acids now from these chapters now if you see in 2025 they have not asked as such questions from these two things right but in 2026 maybe they will ask less questions from halogens halorenes and more from alcohol phenol because important naming reactions are also there in alcohol phenol as well it's just a game of luck that in 2025 they thought of okay let's give less priority to alcohol phenol so to alcohol phenol ether you must do the important naming reaction you should not skip any naming reaction and distinguish test from alcohol phenol ether even though it was less asked in 2025 that is a genuine advice to you right then carboxylic acid usually it's not that of an important reactions are not there so you can do this little bit you can just go through this ones that if you see any good naming reaction just uh, uh, just uh, mark that and write it down in your notebook okay now if you see this from uh, this p block p block 15 16 17 18 and 13 14 do the exceptions 
do the exceptions you don't need to do the compounds its reactions none of this is important for you and it's not even written in your uh, syllabus right so do the exceptions of hydrides melting point boiling point radius electronegativity right so many good exceptions are there reason behind that, those exceptions and for sure they will ask you question if they ask you from p block and periodic classification most probably the question will be either of oxide nature or exceptions right then if you ask me ma'am what about redox reaction practical chemistry and chemical equilibrium see if you ask me chemical equilibrium kp kc relation dissociation numerical right how kp kc is uh, calculated when they have given you degree of dissociation or when they have asked you uh, how it how you relate kp kc with alpha that question is important here right and the factors how when you add two reactions you multiply divide how uh, how this uh, equilibrium constant changes right then if you ask me from qualitative and quantitative analysis from here you will see questions usually students skip this but in 2025 they have asked surprisingly good questions from here but if you have done this chapter even once you will be able to answer that because questions related to percentage calculation of nitrogen like jeldal methods dumas method carius method do these three four methods that are there to calculate the percentage of a particular element in a compound that is asked right okay then this one ncrt lab manual cations and anions for this i would say practical chemistry is related to this one right and practical chemistry either you do it properly what are the cations how they are uh, identified everything the tests there are some very important tests related to it that are also some of the tests are also there in purification qualitative quantitative analysis but this is something that you should have like least priority least means you will do this in the end because there is lot of cramming that is involved right firstly focus on the high priority if you still have time then then do this right and practical chemistry regarding cation group 1 group 2 group 3 all these things these are least 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 priority right if you have like done everything in the end you will think about this and then you will learn this right now if i talk about redox reactions here basic balancing you have two methods do one of them and n factor calculation you must do right now if you to ask me about titrations you must have a basic idea about titration that you see in ionic equilibrium as well right now titration is also part of ionic equilibrium where you understand phenolphthalein methyl orange when it is used where little bit idea you should have what is acid base titration and you must know what is idimetric idometric titration little bit you should have an idea about this but chances are less that they will ask you but you should have an idea about this just do a good revision of that and just go through the theory part once right so guys that's it i have already told you like in detail what are the things that you need to that you need to focus first and the things that are in your least priority so in the end there is one advice don't skip any chapter entirely skip the topics that are they, that they have not asked in past 5 6 years that i have already told you skip those topics that much risk you can take but if you're skipping let's say alcohol phenol entirely and if they ask you very simple question on that then that will be very heartbreaking right so instead of that do every chapter but from low priority do important topics and also let me know in the comment section guys what is your most hated chapter like literally you hate this chapter and this definitely should be of chemistry i want to know this because i want to save you right i'll definitely reply to every single comment that is there in this video right you tell me your most hated chapter write down hashtag hated and name of that chapter and then i'll definitely reply that what are the topics that you should not skip from that particular chapter that you are not that you are hating and if i see any student writing in the comment section hated and they write all the chapters or chemistry then uh, even i can't save you right then i can't do anything about it so guys that's it and one very important thing if you see this over here right 
if you see this over here there is a very important se uh, session that is live for you on 3rd of december right at 6 pm this is scheduled for 3rd of december 6 pm hit the like button over here because something very important our rank booster series right that will be there every single detail how many tests what will be the level of the test right will it be part syllabus full syllabus every single thing will be discussed in this particular lecture by share sir right so tomorrow at 6 pm we'll see you all on this channel and also guys in the comments in the description box you will also see one more thing here right now here it is not written right but i'll tell you one important thing that that is also there that is your friend with right so you every session that you watch on this channel right you will see ask with click on that your pda for that session and also any doubt you have related to that particular session will be answered by your own friend Wade. So your personal mentor, your personal friend is there with you. That is your Wade, right? So that's it for today. Thank you all. And I'm waiting for your hated chapters in the comment section. Till then, bye-bye.